For the first time in Zambia's election history, citizens will vote for their national leaders as well as local authorities on the same day. Only nine out of the 46 registered political parties have paid for the presidential nomination fees ahead of the August 11 elections. Current President Edgar Chakwalungu, who came to power following the death of Michael Sata in 2014, is the ruling party Patriotic France candidate. Lungu, who promised continuity during and after elections, says the country will continue to benchmark on what it is known for and once again conduct the elections free and fair. Namibia's president, Dr. Hagi Gengob, who was on a working visit to that country recently, urged the Zambians to embrace the concept of New Africa where leaders are respected and remain in their home countries as opposed to living in exile. Zambians have in the meantime up to their expectations, with many saying the country is at a position to meet these expectations 52 years after independence. A Lusaka resident, Beatrice Mubinda, wants more self-employment initiatives, especially for the youth. When you look in Zambia, we have a lot of youths. They don't have jobs. Then when you look at the, our, economy, our economy, our economy is not stable as at now. So we are looking forward to the one who is going to, uh, to be in the office on the 11th August, at least to consider, to consider all the areas of job creation. While major rallies are being held across the country, Different political party supporters in the capital are not sitting idle either when campaigning for their candidates. As our leader, Chagwalungu, is on the lead because all everything is just falling up. Ballot papers have been dispatched to different provinces and about 7 million registered voters are expected to cast their votes. Zambia's economy has been thriving on agricultural produce and copper mining, the latter being affected by the fluctuating prices in demand and supply. As a result, the citizens want government to tighten economic diversification, a topic which features strongly on the manifestos of almost all contesting parties. Blanche Coreses, NBC News.